everybody. Chad with Boy Creek Detectors out here. What a beautiful day today, and uh, first find of the day today was a penny. But it's a modern penny. That's <laughs> all right, we'll take it. So, yeah, I just figured I'd get out for a little bit today and enjoy it while I can. Nice day, we're about in fall right now. And, you can see. All right, let's see if we can find anything a little older. <laughs> All right, everybody. Looks like I found something else here. Looks a little bit older than what I found earlier. <laughs> what do y'all think that is? Reminds me of uh, like a foot to a sewing machine or something. Really old one, you know, like the old foot pedal type. All right, everybody. Looks like I found a coin today. Nice and green. I'm gonna say that's probably an IHP. So one cent on the back. It's got the wreaths. Be lovely later to find out uh, what the date is on this. All right, keep on going. So our next find today. This old rotted spoon here. Very interesting. Looks like there might be something on the back of it. Clean it up later and see what it says. I'm not really quite sure what that is. Looks like part to a doorknob, maybe, or. I don't know. Let me know what you all think. All right. This quite possibly looks like a mangled fork. Kind of interesting. <laughs> Wonder if they did that on purpose. Looks like they turned it into a spoon. All right. We'll see if we can find some more stuff. All right, everybody, looks like I found a button. See the back of it there. Oops, I'll try to clean it up later and see what it looks like. All right, it was kind of scratchy on the uh, AT Max, but I figured I'd just go ahead and dig it anyways. So, yeah, beautiful place out here. So I thought I was done for the day, but I was going by a spot that looked really peculiar to me. I'm glad I stopped. Because this will be a new, a new place for us to check out. There's these plants that grow and they look like they would grow around where a house is. But you can kind of see them right there. I found a mine tag. So, yeah, here's a better look at those plants I was talking about. These things usually grew around where people's houses were. All right, my equipment is laying over here somewhere, so let's see what else we can find. And here's button number two. Very cool. So right here is where I found that tag. Up here on the hillside. Okay, so about four feet away, I dug another target, and it looks like a button. All right, let's keep going. Found some kind of item here. I'm not even sure what this is. But we'll clean it up later and see. It's got a neat shape to it. Yep. So there's this uh, item here. Not really sure what that is yet, but we'll clean that up and see what it is. Pretty neat. Looks like a clipped coin or token or something. Or it could just be scrap, who knows. <laughs> so Isaac and I have hunted this spot before. And I figured I'd come back and give it another go. We've learned that uh, no spot is truly fully hunted out. 
not having the time it takes to do it. So it's always nice to come back to an old location and find new things. So it keeps your motivation up. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Tell your friends, and we appreciate it. And we'll do a roundup of finds and see you in a bit. All right, everybody, here's a roundup of our items. Here's the one item I'm not sure of. It appears to be a modern bullet, a couple of buttons, what appears to be a wheat set or a uh, Indian sand. I'm sorry, possibly part to a sewing machine or something. Some kind of piece of chain link or link. Not quite sure what this is yet. This spoon is in such poor condition, you can just barely touch it and it starts to disintegrate. So we've got to be real careful with it, what's left of it. And a fork and some kind of lead piece and just some odds and ends. So. All right, everybody. Mm -hmm.